What do you think? Is gaming on a PlayStation 5 with a mouse and keyboard worth your while? My name is RobinB360 and welcome to another video. Last week we've seen that the Xbox Series X can manage a mouse and keyboard pretty well. But there were some things that they could have done better, which got me curious of how a mouse and keyboard would perform on the PlayStation 5. Let's start with the setup. The setup is as easy as on the Xbox Series X. You just need to plug in a USB mouse and keyboard and it works immediately. You even get a confirmation at the right top of your screen. If you are short on USB ports, you can plug in a USB hub and connect your mouse and keyboard to it. Once you set it up, you can use your keyboard to navigate through the PlayStation 5 menu with the arrow buttons. But like on the Xbox Series X, you cannot use the mouse here. It would be great if they could add this feature in the future to give it more of a PC feeling. If you want to select anything or open a game, you can use the Enter key for it. And if you want to return from somewhere in the PlayStation menu, just hit the Escape button. So let's head over to the configuration. If you go to Settings, then to Accessories, and then to Keyboard, you can change the language type, key repeat delay, and key repeat rate. And if you go to Mouse in the Accessory tab, and then go to Type, you can choose if you're left or right-handed. You can even choose the pointer speed. All mentioned settings are set to normal, which was also the most comfortable for me. But you can play with these settings to see what suits your personal needs. Let me know in the comments if you tried this out. As you can see, there are more configuration options available for your mouse and keyboard on the PlayStation 5, compared to the Xbox Series X, where you only had the option to change the mouse pointer speed and switch the primary and secondary mouse buttons. So the PlayStation 5 wins in terms of configuration options. But when you look at the key functions itself, the PlayStation 5 has less options compared to the Xbox Series X. For example, on the Xbox Series X, you could use the Windows key to open the Xbox menu. As where on the PlayStation 5, this doesn't work and you need to use your DualSense controller. So keep it close to you at all times while you are gaming with your mouse and keyboard. Just a small reminder, if you found any value in this video so far, consider to like the video or maybe even subscribe to the channel so you can support me so I can keep making similar content for you. Now let's continue. On the Xbox Series X, sadly, not all games are supported. Same goes for the PlayStation 5, only here the supported list is even smaller, as the Xbox had around 60 supported games versus the PlayStation 5 which has around 10 games. I've shared the list for you in the description or you can pause the video and write down this link. Now let's start trying out a few games that do support mouse and keyboard. Call of Duty. Last time we saw that Call of Duty worked fine, except you needed to start the game with the controller. On the PlayStation 5 this is exactly the same. You also need to set up mouse and keyboard control within the menu before starting a game or else it won't work in the single player. And we also see exactly the same mouse and keyboard settings on the PlayStation 5 as on the Xbox Series X, like key mapping and more. So the experience is more like the same with mouse and keyboard on the PlayStation 5 as it is on the Xbox Series X. This also applies for gaming with a mouse and keyboard in single player and multiplayer modes. Planet Roller Coaster. This game is almost identical to The Sims 4 in terms of mouse and keyboard support. Everything works perfectly, from the on-screen cursor to the key control, mouse responsiveness and more. If you want to play this game, it is definitely worth trying out with a mouse and keyboard. Just one thing to be warned, it will take a lot of your personal time to build a perfect team park. So in the last video we talked about crossplay filtering. But on the PlayStation 5, I didn't see this option anywhere. Whereas on the Xbox Series X, you had this option in ranked matches of Halo Infinity. It would be great if we can enable or disable it on every game on the PlayStation 5 going forward. Looking at the app support, this time around all the streaming apps like Disney+, Plus, Netflix and Amazon Prime work fine, with the exception of mouse support. Same goes for Twitch, which works perfectly, but not with a mouse. But unfortunately, you don't have a browser to serve on the internet, like on the Xbox Series X. There is a workaround to get an internet browser working on your PlayStation 5, but for now I only wanted to show you the official apps in this video. If you have any interest in this, let me know in the comments below. Gaming on the PlayStation 5 with a mouse and keyboard works fine when you look at the basics, but is it worth using a mouse and keyboard on the PlayStation 5 in its current state? I wouldn't think so. Yet, it is good to see that there are more configuration options than on the Xbox Series X, but the supported list needs to grow a lot, and the key control needs to be improved, at least with a home button. Especially when you think of Sony giving a lot of love to PC players lately, with all the PC ports like God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, and more, you would also give some PC type of support to their console. But who knows what the future will bring? Just know that when that moment comes, I will be here to test it for you and share my experience with you. So make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and put on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And if you love this video, I would recommend the next two videos for you. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.